Hi, y'all. Welcome in. Welcome. How are you? I'm going to wait for a few more people to come in, but while I'm waiting, I'm going to do my shameless plug for you guys. So, if you have not been on my Poshmark yet, which is linked below, you need to check out my new makeup vintage line, which um, these are the lashes that I'm wearing. And they come in this um, this cute little box. They are magnetic lashes with the liner. And so if y'all like my lashes, these are, I think, the number six option. And here's my eyeshadow that I'm wearing. It is a really pretty nude palette by Level Up Cosmetics. And also, I don't have my lipstick, but y'all have seen my lipstick before. Um, this is the color Siren, so y'all can check that out um, on the link below. So hey, y'all, so we're going to talk about how to turn off those emotions. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you how do you do that? So I'm going to give y'all some tips. Y'all want tips? I'm going to give y'all tips. Because, you know, I, I said, oh, I just do. I don't really care. I don't care because I don't care. But I'm going to tell you how not to care because a lot of people have trouble not caring. So. You think after you've been hurt enough, you can turn them off. Yeah. I mean, of course, after you've, after you've realized that you are always giving more and receiving less, it's easy to cut something off because you're getting cheated. You know what I mean? If you're, you have to think of it as a business. This is my number one tip. My number one tip on how to cut off emotion is to think of it like a business. Okay. If your love and your energy were money, who would be cheated? Who's paying more? Who's paying more, you or him? Think of emotions and energy like money. So if you're giving him more emotions, if you're putting more energy into him, if you're putting more effort into the relationship, if you are having more emotions and feelings toward a person than they are about you, you are getting cheated and robbed, basically. Okay. So that's a one way to turn it off. If you were going to work and you weren't getting your paycheck, wouldn't you say something? Wouldn't you quit? Wouldn't you stop showing up? Yes, you would. So you have to think of this as business. That is the number one way to turn off your emotion. Okay. Because at work, you're not emotionally attached to that job. If it's paying, you're staying. If it ain't paying, you're leaving. Okay. Are y'all still here? Can y'all put emoji? Okay. So think of it as a business only. Okay. Um, throw anything away about falling in love. Okay, you grow in love, throw all that away. They prove themselves each day. So if you look at love a little bit different, as in growth rather than falling, you will prosper. You will allow that person to continue to prove themselves on a daily basis and not just accept some words as your payment when gestures and actions are not being done. Okay, so until you see action, you do not respond. That's how you turn off those emotions. If someone says, oh, I'm going to pay all your bills. Y'all keep putting emojis if y'all are here, please. So I know that I'm still alive. If y'all are saying, oh, um, you know, I don't feel like he loves me. Da, 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 then follow your intuition. Okay. Um, he doesn't deserve what you're giving him because A, he probably don't want it. B, probably never asked for you to love him, but, you know, that's what you wanted for yourself. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't even ask the other person that they're with, hey, do you think I'm the one? Do you think we're in love? Do you think this is going anywhere? They just automatically assume that they're in love and A, B, C, and D. But half the time, a lot of men are just using you as a place filler. And then when you get upset and upset, turns into anger and anger turns into, you know, whatever, then you're like, well, I gave so much, but no one asked you to. 
you know? So you also have to take full responsibility of the emotion and the energy that you're paying out. You have to be responsible in what you're paying someone, okay? So if you don't like going to your purse to pay people, then stop paying emotions. Stop paying, um, you know, more than they're giving to you. This is how you shut them off. They're not all the way off, but they're very observant and they only turn on when they're activated by the action of the other person, you see. So a lot of people are on automatic pilot. A lot of people are doing more than they need to be doing in relationships and wondering why they're not happy or getting the good end of the deal. So you must use energy and emotion as you would money. That's how you can do it. OK, a lot of women mistake sex for love. They never ask the men, what does a sexual relationship with me mean? Sex does not equal love for men at all. OK, in fact, the more you hold off, the more that they will like you. OK, so um, it's just true. The more you hold off, the longer you hold off, the more you make them do to earn it, the more that they like you. The less you make them do, the less that they like you. OK, so make sure you understand that. I don't care who told you what. This is the truth. And when you make someone work for something, you don't feel bad when it's time to pay them because they've earned it. OK, you don't feel stupid afterward either because most likely they're not going to walk away if they've invested a lot of time and energy into you. You see, um, so make sure. When you go into any type of relationship, you think of it only as a business where you give and receive fair amounts or you are needing more because you you should be benefiting as the woman. So if you're not getting more emotion from the man, if you're not getting more attention, if you're not getting more you know, special treatment, then you're paying him to be with you emotionally, you know sexually, um, energetically, you're paying him. It's the same thing. That's why money is the physical representation of what you're doing. Okay. Money is the physical rep representation of your emotions and how he feels about you. You're not going to pay him to go on a date with you. You're not going to pay him to go anywhere with you. He is the pursuer, so he puts in the work and the energy. That's why you get the money, okay? So if you look at this on an energetic level, you'll understand, understand that many women have made the mistake of paying too much attention, too much time, and too much emotion to a man who is not giving you anything, okay? So keep that in your mind. It is a business. It is a business. You're a naturally impulsive person. I'm very passionate to Aries. Well, you know what? That's fine. Go somewhere and learn how to control it. Okay. Because you can have all of that under control. You know, self-discipline is the key. Uh, either it's an excuse or it's an asset or a weakness. I would rather it be my asset than my weakness. Okay. So you can, you can hone those energies you can you can discipline yourself to where you are in control of reacting you can be passionate but you can also stop yourself before you do something that you might regret so work on self-control okay um that's one thing that don't teach you self-control and discipline they don't teach you how to shut up they don't teach you how to think before you speak they don't teach you to look at what the possible outcome could be of this situation if I overreact. But that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Stop and think. This is how you control your emotions. This is how you shut them down temporarily while you think so that when you turn them back on, you can execute whatever you're doing the correct way. OK, you need to turn them off for a second to think. Then you can turn them back on when you get the answer. 
So it's not like you're going to be an emotionless being. It's that you're turning them off temporarily so that you can process the information so that you can strategize and do what is most beneficial for you and your future instead of reacting and doing something that you're going to regret. So my tips are treat it like a business. Temporarily stop those emotions, press pause and think, and then react because it only takes you a few minutes to think. You know, someone doesn't need a two second response. You have time to think. You can say, I'll, I'll think about it, or, you know, I need to think about this for a second. You can take the time, you have the time and you have the luxury to say, I need to think about this for a few minutes. Or you can just let them talk while you think about whatever you're thinking about and they won't even know. But the point is, you can't just go around aimlessly, recklessly emotionally reacting all over the place out of control and expect to get the life that you desire because it doesn't work that way. Okay. So make sure y'all understand that controlling yourself is a way to uh, temporarily pause your emotions so that you can benefit from any situation. Okay. Um, yeah, men don't care. They're like, this broad is so emotional. This dizzy broad, this, this dizzy broad is so emotional. I know how to trigger her. She's so, ugh. Women, you know, this is why men feel this way about women because it's like you have no discipline within yourself. And it's like, it's a mess, basically. It's just a hot mess. That's all it is. It's a hot mess. You know, um, it's, it's like having, um, you have all the power, but you don't know how to wield it because you can't discipline your emotion. You have all this power, but you can't wield it, okay? And they know this. They know you can't handle the, all that power. Um, they know that you're an emotional mess and they play on it. And because you don't know how to wield your power and control it, they control it for you, okay? So be smart. Don't allow them to control your emotions. Control your own emotions. And you don't ever have to worry about anyone ever telling you, oh, you're over emotional. Oh, you're, you're, you're this or you're that. Because you'll be able to check yourself before you even react. Okay. Um, You, you had to, you have how to handle an emotional man. Tell him. It's like, you need to learn how to control your emotions. That is a very feminine trait. And that's it. Walk away. I would. I mean, that's, I'm just straight up like that. I know how to trigger men. You know? That'll get him to start thinking before he reacts. Um... <laughs> what I eat in a day, please, here. girl. I eat whatever I want. I just stay under whatever calories I decide to stay under. I'm staying. I stay under twelve hundred calories or fifteen hundred calories, and I eat whatever I want. But I'm vegan or plant based, whatever you call it. I you know, so there's nothing special. Just whatever is random that's down there in the kitchen or whatever. I don't really like doing those videos because I eat so many different things and I just count my calories. And that's a very good thing to do. Thank you, Olivia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What candle color to attract generous partners? Um, the mirror, the candle that opens the, uh, the light to the mirror so that you can see what you look like to see if you are cute enough to attract generous partners. You know, you can light 50 candles, but if you're not what they're looking for, it's not going to happen. So... I often tell people to rely on common sense because, you know, if there is something that you can do physically or mentally to attract the type of man that you desire, that's what you need to be focused on. OK, that's what you need to be focused on, because you can light 20,000 candles and nobody will step up to you if you are not what they're looking for with their eye. So focus on self, focus on the level up and focus on getting what you want by understanding what it is you're looking for and what they are attracted to. 
Okay. What would I do? Count calories and eat plant based. Oh, that's what you do. Count calories, Christina, and plant based. Cool. Um, I should make a channel for sugar daddies. Why? So all the fake people can come on there and pretend they got money. All the sugar daddies are not on YouTube, baby. They won't be over here. They don't. Most of them don't even have a YouTube account. <laughs> Do men fall for sweet women who don't complain and go with the flow? Nope. <laughs> they fall for women who make them work for everything that they get from her. Okay. They use you as the doormat. You don't want to do that. You a dusty in training to be a sugar daddy? Okay, well at least at least you in training. That's that's a start. Mhm. Mm okay, so right. <sighs> Shutting off your emotions is also a choice. It's a choice, you know. Um, your emotions are basically heightened senses to tell you when something is wrong, when something is enjoyable, when something hurts, you know, and if that man is not feeling the same thing for you that you're feeling for them, then that is unhealthy, especially if you have more emotion than they do, you know, so. That's why I always tell you guys, it is more important for you to find a man that has more of an emotional attachment to you than you do to them. You understand now? If you get someone that has a more emotional attachment to you, you win. Because you don't have to worry. Because you don't have to feel cheated. You don't have to feel like you're giving more. Why? <clears throat> because they're giving. See, so you don't have to feel like you're extra emotional or, you know, thinking too much or saying too much because the person that you're with is already showing you, look, here I am. I, he I'm, I do what I say and, you know, I'm here for you. But when you are dating someone who does not have the same uh, or more emotional um, attachment to you. They're going to turn off their emotions on you, you see. So if you are in a relationship with someone who is emotionless, doesn't want to connect with you, doesn't care about your feelings, it's because you like them more. It might have started out the opposite way, but they flipped the script on you at one point and you never realized it. So make sure... You don't let the script be flipped and you find someone that likes you way more. That's that's the easiest way to control your emotion. Find someone that likes you more. Let me tell you why. Most often they will agree with you or give you your way. Number one. Number two, you won't feel like you're in an emotionless relationship because they are doing whatever they say that they were going to do and making you happy and comfortable. Right. Number three, they're not going to try to put you down or demean you in any way because they like you more than you like them. OK, this is why I tell you guys, do not chase after men. They are supposed to chase you. When you chase after men, it means you like them more than they like you. Everything should be in the correct order. Y'all want to be the man so bad that when you get a woman or when you get someone who thinks they're the prize, y'all are upset because now you have to play the masculine role. Well, if you just act your part and choose a man that will chase you and work for you and make sure that he knows you're the prize and he likes you way more than you like him. Until you do that, you're going to run into disappointment after disappointment. You just are. Okay. And when you get tired of doing that, 
you might remember what I say. You might come back to this video and you might understand what I'm truly saying. So emotional wrecks are with usually are with uh, men that don't care about them. Okay. If you find yourself an emotional wreck, you are putting too much energy and paying that man too much attention and giving him too much credit that he does not deserve and has not earned. And that's why you're upset because you're being energetically cheated. So when you understand that, you'll stop, you'll pull back and it'll be that easy because you know that you're not getting paid emotionally, physically or mentally and you're not benefiting at all. In fact, you're giving too much. You'll pull it back when you start thinking of it like money. I promise you. So that's what y'all need to do. My tips for turning off those emotions to uh, really reevaluate the whole situation is what is needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hitting the wall real. I don't know. Ask J-Lo. You know, as I think it's as real as you let it become. It's up to you if it's real or not. If you let yourself go, it's real. If you don't, it ain't real. Okay. <clears throat> so. Can I date men around my age and expect them to? No, um, I don't know any man. Now, I could be wrong. There might be one in a zillion, one in a million, maybe one in a couple thousand. But I would not waste my time trying to figure out that answer. Because most likely, unless you're old, no. You know, he's still trying to pay his stuff his bills. Do you think he has the type of job that can uh, support two people or more? You know, if he's rich, chances are he can support and provide for whoever he chooses to, when he chooses to, how he chooses to, because he has too many options. So I would really think about that. You know, um, When I stop caring is when they start caring. Exactly. Cash be out, please, and thank you. Be up. When you stop caring, that's when they start. And that's why I tell any woman who's, I don't even, just stop doing everything. Just stop caring. Don't care. Don't answer them texts. Don't care. Stop cooking. Stop cleaning. Stop talking to them. Don't, don't give them no sex. Just stop it all. Okay. You'll be fine. Um, so, yep. Don't be weak when it's time to choose your target. This is another problem. This is why so many women are extra emotional. When it's time to choose the, the type of person you want to date or who you allow to get close to you, you must be very, very picky. Like I said, they must like you way more. And prove it, not just say it, but I need some evidence. I need some proof. You like me? Okay, well, I'm having some issues. You know, not on the first date though, y'all. But, you know, if they like you enough and they like you more than you like them, whatever you come up with, they're going to find a way to help you. Believe me. So if they're not trying to help you, that's indication number one that they don't like you as much as you think that they do. Okay? So, very important to choose the correct target. If you're not understanding how to choose the target, whichever person shows you the most evidence in action towards them doing what they say that they're going to do. Okay. If they say they're going to take you here, they're going to take you there. If they say they're going to help you with this bill and they come through with more money and extra. Okay. Check, check that off. Yes. If they, um, call you back when they say they're going to call you back that's how you know so 
if they don't and you're always telling them and reminding them and they're putting you off, that means you don't matter to them and you never will. Okay? You have to reinforce something over and over. They don't like you. You're not the one. You're not going to do anything for you. So how to pick the right target is very important and making sure that you don't get weak in that area. You know, oh, but he's cute. Oh, but I like him, but he don't like you. Okay. So remember, this is why I always tell you guys, it's y'all's own fault when you get mistreated. It's your own fault when you allow men to tell you something and don't allow them or make them prove it to you. Okay. This is your fault. They're going to do what they can get away with. OK, they're going to do whatever they can and get away with it because you let them. So if if you're still thinking that you can change a man and you can get him to like you more and he doesn't like you like that in the beginning, you're too late. Change up. Get another one. OK, um, y'all have to stop falling for that. You know, that's a weakness in many, many women. You all waste a lot of time and energy not aimed in the correct direction or on the right target. Y'all aim in the wrong direction and y'all are spending months with the wrong target. Well, I've been dating this person for three months and I haven't gotten anything out of them. Well, you stupid. And that would be my response. Well, something is wrong with you. You done. You obviously like him more than he likes you because, you know, that's not how it's supposed to be if that man likes you more and you've hinted around several times that you need A, B, C, and D and they have not done anything for you. You know, that means you're not a priority and you never will be, okay? So get out of fantasy land and come into reality and, you know, check yourself. How do you keep them in check without hurting their self-esteem? They must like you way more than you like them, first of all. And you need to remind them of that. That's it. It's like, like oh, but you said you were going to do A, B, C, and D, so I just assumed that you would. You know? You usually come through, so if you're not coming through now, then I guess things have changed. That means, in his language, oh, I guess I need to open up my options again. <laughs> you know, if they fear losing you because they like you way more and they're slacking off, just remind them. You know, you used to do what you said you were going to do. I guess you don't feel the same way about me anymore, which means I'm opening my options. Okay? So, but don't say you're opening your options. Say it in a different way. Like, I guess you don't feel the same way about me anymore. And leave it like that. And then they're going to have to reprove themselves over and over, just like they're supposed to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Put my thing down. What? Flip it and reverse it? That's right. Um. What made I choose? What made me choose James? Because he did whatever I needed him to do. Whatever, whenever, however. It was like a magic genie, baby. Can't beat that. Whatever I want. It's like a magic genie lamp. Okay? That's why. Still today. Still today. So that's how you know. When, when they're like your magic genie, that's how you know. That's the correct target. If they're not like a magic genie lamp, they're not the correct target. I mean, it doesn't like it doesn't mean that they're going to be a billionaire or a millionaire. But if you want something you can, and you can get it and, and you ask for it and there's no issues surrounding it and they do what they say they're going to do. Same thing. You know, thank you, Cherry. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How sure I lived in. You live 60 kilometers away from your college, but living with this boyfriend allow me to be nearer to my college. I'm 23. He's 36. He has changed lately. So do I not care just to be near to my school? 
I mean, I guess. Maybe he's getting too comfortable. Maybe you need to make him think that you might go back and move to campus. Make him start all over trying to earn you back. You know? Okay. How do you regain your worth? Level up, baby. Level all the way up and make sure that he understands that you have options and can replace him. Okay, because when a man knows that you can replace him, they start acting better. Um, look better, look good every day that you leave your house so that he and you both know that someone is going to approach you and say, oh, you're so pretty today. Oh, I, you know, what's your name? Da, da, da. Leave your house gorgeous every day. Okay, if you want to be treated better by everybody, even him. Okay. You watched that video, but it was long ago. Which video? Right. You was a very smart 22-year-old. You failed about worrying about looks instead. Exactly. Look, when I was 22, I, wouldn't not, I was not worried about looks anymore. I was worried about everything else. And now I'm 40, almost 41. And I am so glad that I did not choose to decide who I'm going to marry based on their looks. I am so glad. <laughs> How many of you ladies have married based on looks? And what do you, what have you accomplished? What do you have to show for those looks? Does he still look the same? Does he treat you the same? Is he still with you? Okay. Think about it. Is it necessary to be done up when you're in the house? It helps the man treat you better than when you're not cute. Like if you ask for something, he's more likely to say yes if you look pretty than if you look ugly or bad or blah. He's more likely to say yes to you if you, the better you look. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. So, my sugar daddy tricked me on our trip. He said we were taking taking a walk, and next thing you know, we were on Rodeo Drive, and I was not as leveled up as I should have been. So annoying. I was still cute, but well, hopefully you got some stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's why you always got to dress cute because you don't never know where you're going to end up. Never know. Okay. Zone auto, you hate, I hate your black eyes. I'm so sorry. My eyes are the same color as the, the universe. So you must hate the cosmos. Bye. I stay cute for nobody, for me, nobody else. Good for you. Stay cute for you. That's why I stay cute for everybody else. Just get the added bonus, <laughs> right? Everybody get that added bonus. Um, I called it off. Then months later, texted him, but now he is not chasing. Well, get another one, baby. Next. <laughs> Y'all stay stuck on the same thing when there's 50 million billion people out there. Go get another one. And like, why do y'all keep going back? It's, it's like a dog that eats his own vomit. Stop doing that. Move forward. You know, and that's what I think of when people turn around and go back and the thing doesn't want them. The person doesn't want them. The person is not interested. The person is not chasing. Okay. You're doing yourself a disservice. Move forward. Okay. Um. Sure, I remember you made a comment on wedges. What's wrong with wedges? Nothing is wrong with wedges in the springtime during the day. Spring or summertime day shoes with day outfits are okay. Wedges at night 
in place of heels. It's not cute. In fact, they're not even that much in style anymore for heels. Espadrilles are more in style for daytime, warm weather, or vacation. Because what, you know, what the style and fashion is, it's not something that some a man would say, oh, look at her foot and that wedge is so sexy and that, no. It, it's not enticing. It's more of a daytime, summer sandal look, okay? Why are you watching? Oh, all women got some STD keep sleeping around. Well, I wonder who gave it to them. He said all women got some STD. Well, who gave it to them? I swear people are so dumb. <laughs> okay. She would do to you. I learned to shut off my emotions, which gave me $740 in cash. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Get your money. Yep. All you got to do is shut it up. Turn it down. Put it on pause. You know. <laughs> Can you talk a little about using a feminine voice or demeanor? Yeah, just lighten your voice up like this a little bit and smile. That's all you got to do. Be very gentle. Smile, tilt your head. How are you today? Oh, are you having a good day so far? That's all you got to do. It's acting. That's all it is, acting. That's it. Start practicing in the mirror. Um. Mm-hmm. When is the right time to turn your emotions back on? When they are doing everything that they say they're going to do and you can depend on them doing everything that they say they're going to do and they are proving themselves to you daily and they are making sure that you are taken care of and you don't have to sit there and worry about a thing. You, have, you don't have to repeat yourself and you don't have to worry. That's when you can turn them back on just a little bit, halfway, maybe a little bit less than half until you got the ring, until you got whatever you need. Okay. Do not turn your emotions all the way back on for, for any man until they have given you everything you desire in life out of them. Do you understand? Because if you don't and you waste all your energy and emotions on someone who does not plan to reciprocate, then you're spending more emotional energy than you're receiving. And so you're depleting yourself. See? That's why so many walk, women walk around here looking backwards because they left something back there. They left all of that money, all of that energy, all of those emotions, and they paid way more than they were being given. That's why a lot of women stay stuck because they can't shut off those emotions. They can't move forward because they're, they're looking back to everything that they've given and never received in return. So stop doing that. Stop giving too much. That's why you're always looking backwards because you felt like you dropped something and you did. You gave too much and got nothing. So stop doing it. You know, you should be looking forward because you got everything you came in with plus some. You should be looking forward to new adventures, you know. And you can't keep doing that. I don't care what the movies say, what somebody told you, what a meme said. You just can't follow that because it doesn't work in your favor. Thank you, uh, Vatini. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, second mom. <laughs> what is your take on men who are married but separated, separated for 15 months to be exact waste of time? Girl. Um, it depends on how old their children are. If they're truly separated, do they live in a separate place? And are they going to get back together because they don't want to pay for the divorce? So you really got to consider all of that. How much money do they actually have? How much will they lose in the divorce? And are there young children or old children involved? The younger the child and the more that they will have to give up, the less likely that they will be getting divorced. So do your math and then you'll know what to do. You know what I'm saying? If you don't really care and you're just trying to date him for the money, then get as much as, impos much as you can and until you are ready to move on. That's the best thing. Okay. Um.
Um, um, um. What are the best Valentine's Day gifts to ask for? Anything you desire. You know, maybe something that's going to be worth more in the future or something worth more now. You could ask for whatever you think you're going to be able to get, you know. Jewel, I always ask for jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry or whatever. <laughs> I don't really need anything, so I'll just tell them to buy me some jewelry so I have a jewelry collection. That's it. Um. What do you do if your boyfriend watches porn and you don't like it? Shut off the internet, baby. I mean, do y'all live together? Shut the internet off. Oh, something's wrong with the internet. If he turns it back on, and you're like, oh, okay, well. You can't stop a grown man from doing what he wants to do, you know. You really can't stop a grown man to, for doing what he wants to do. If you don't like it, then shame him for it. Maybe he'll stop doing it. Tease him about it. Like, are you in there watching? Uh, are you in there watching videos? Make sure you clean up. You know what I'm saying? Treat treat him like treat him like that, and make a joke out of it. And he'll stop. He'll feel stupid. I feel so ashamed. You know, that, no, no wonder you're so quick in the bed. You're just be making jokes. Well, you better stop that before you become a minute man. <sighs> He's going to go, oh, shoot. Thank you, Okia. My name is Crystal. I love your guidance. Thank you for the game. So, yeah, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so... Good afternoon. That's what I would do. I missed, you missed the tips. Yeah. Well, they weren't that, they weren't that far back. So I'm not going to make this a long video anyway. Um, so, you know, the tips are just stop and think before you make any decisions emotionally and make sure that man likes you way more than you like him. And do not pay any emotional energy or any type of energy to someone that's not giving you the same or more in return. You make them earn your love. You make them prove themselves by action, not words. You know, So um, you could turn off your emotions by allowing them to prove themselves before you expect them to do something. They've already basically done it. You know. You make them prove themselves so you don't have to be upset when they say they did this, but they didn't. Or you don't have to be upset when you feel like you're chasing them and they don't care about you. Because if you care about them more than they care about you, you're always going to be emotional. Because you're giving too much and they're giving nothing. So they need to like you way more. And there's more tips there too, but you can wait for the beginning. Um, and I might repeat them later on. Who knows? He. So. Can we wear feminine colors working as a banker? Sure. Why not? Does your bank allow that? Um, as long as it's, they allow you to wear those colors. Sure. Mm hmm. Girl, it's the bachelor. What? Oh, I don't watch that show. I'm sorry. <laughs> the guy I'm dating's child's mother recently became emotional on Facebook, lashing out and posts on his page. That's a big no-no. It's true. Men don't care. Oops. Um. Buy me jewelry. <laughs> he thinks I'm cold. Well, he's waiting for you to give him emotions, <laughs> but he, if he hasn't given you enough, then you don't feel the need to give any. Yeah. 
You need to ask him for something or tell him to do something. If he doesn't do it, then you don't, he don't get no emotional pain. Okay? He don't get no type of emotional pain. Um, I love you and your message. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, let's see. Whoever is putting all them stupid comments in there, um, delete them after this so that they're not in my live feed or else I'll report you afterward. Um, so just make sure you delete them out of my stuff. Y'all can stay if you want, but just delete them afterwards. Okay. So, um, hoes that'll make money too, huh? So anyway, there's no men in here, ladies, and if they can't afford you, y'all on the wrong chat. Go to the Super Bowl discussion chat. This is all women. Okay. Anyway, it's all women in here. You're on the wrong chat. Um, mm -hmm. as a male, I crazy blew my what, wallet shut. My only problem is not only can women not get my money, but neither can I. <laughs> Oops. It's some weirdos in your chat. You need a mod. No, I don't need a mod. I don't think they speak English. I think they're just bots. <laughs> and they realize it's all women in here. Maybe they'll get the clue and leave. You know she's speaking some truth because the internet losers are going hard. Yeah. It's so funny though, you know. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um insist I get more every time y'all make a comment, I get paid. Amateurs. Yeah. Amateur for sure. Okay. Lots of bots, yes. Don't you love artificial intelligence? Sugar, mess, uh, my message is powerful. Thank you, girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all can just individually block that person if y'all don't want to see them. Just hit the block thing on them. Um. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? When you, When a man realizes that you've turned off those emotions, this is what happens especially if they've been doing wrong and you just stop doing everything. You stop cooking, you stop cleaning, you stop doing laundry. If that's what you do, because I don't do it. Um, you stop talking to them. You just pass them straight by. They start getting worried. Then they try to do extra. You come home, the house clean. You know, you come home, you know, they bring in home flowers and stuff uh, because you stop doing everything. They try to butter you up. Oh, hi. How, you know, um, you want to go to the movies? You want to go eat? You know, um, and you still don't respond. You know, you're like, nope. Mm -mm. Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? Ain't nothing wrong. When they can't figure out what's wrong with you, that's when they panic. Because A, they think you're ready to bounce, which means leave. Or B, <laughs> they think that you don't care about them anymore. And so at any given moment, you could, you know, choose to do better, date someone else, are dating someone else. Um, they don't have any control over your mind anymore. You have no guilt if you did decide to do anything with someone else. And so that's really disturbing to the, to the men because they feel like everything that they counted on you as far as your weaknesses are now your strengths, you know, so your weaknesses have now become your strength. And since your weaknesses have become your strength, they don't know how to deal with you. And so either they have to basically do whatever you want them to do or live life without your concern and live life while you're so unbothered by them. And that's why they change because they are like, I don't want to live like this. I, I want you back. 
you're so cold now. You know, so then they start doing the correct thing because they see how you can be. They see the other side of, of your, they see the other side of you and they don't like that. So what they're going to do is make sure that you are getting what you want so they don't have to deal with this part of you that is emotionless because it's not beneficial to them. Okay. Um, my friend and I really put me on. Shira has two kids of her own business, but told her man she has two days to herself during the week. She does whatever she wants with this money. She loves it. Okay, that sounds like the uh I do whatever I want every day. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> as long as I'm happy, he's happy. There are tons of benefits to being emotionless. There is there's more benefits to being Less, I'm not gonna say emotionless because you can't really lose them all, but there's more benefits to being less emotional than there is being over emotional. You know, you can all let me tell y'all a secret y'all, you can always act emotional, you can always act emotional, but over emotional people can never really truly act unbothered because it's gonna come out, and that's that's the difference. See, so you can have the best of both worlds. You can have the illusion of being an emotional person to get what you want if you're going to work that angle. But you also must be able to really truly control your emotions so that you can use strategy and really get the most out of the situation. Okay, You can't get the most out of any situation upset and blinded. You can't get the most out of any situation upset and ready to react to something in a physical, violent way or using words you can't take back. So I learned that at a young age, you know, I learned that at a young age and I'm glad that I learned that at a young age. And because old, older women look foolish, still overreacting because it's something that you should have solved in your younger age. You know what I mean? It's something that you should have already solved within by this point, especially if you're 35 and up, you should have already solved this problem in being full control. Because how are you going to teach your children to remain in control in certain situations? Your children are going to watch you overreact and they're going to follow suit and overreact. And when you have a child that overreacts and you get mad at them because, oh, they have a bad behavior problem. They learned it from you. If you have a a child that has bad behavior, it's because they watch how you react to everything and they learn from you. And if they see you overreacting, screaming, cursing, yelling, you know, upset for days, that is a behavior problem. Okay. So if, you know, if y'all have kids and they get in trouble, it's, you know, look at yourself first. Um, Right. I leveled up when I changed my name. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. I didn't get to finish reading it, but sorry. Please, what? All these haters, girl, let them hate. I get paid every time they click that button, baby. Let them hate. Hate equals money for me. Just block them individually, you know. I could still read the comments. So, um, Married to your high school sweetheart, he used to spoil me after two kids. I'm the maid and the cook. How do I get him to spoil me again? Stop cooking and cleaning, baby. Hang it up. Hang up your apron and your rubber gloves, girl. You you are done cooking and cleaning. As this day forward, I deem you not the maid. Don't even cook anymore. Stop cleaning. Tell him to take you out to eat. Tell him to hire a maid. It's like, I'm done cleaning. What do you mean I'm done cleaning? You're going to have to hire a maid. That's all you got to do. You'll, it's not that expensive. Y'all can do it. Thank you, Calyx. Love, sprinkle, sprinkle. 
I'm emotional right now. This is the feminine wisdom I've been looking for my whole life. Thank you, Sheila. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yep. Thank you. So, you know, I think women use their emotions as an excuse to not be in control of themselves. And then they will regret it later on in life. Most always. You can't use it as an excuse because it becomes your weakness, okay? And people will tend to use it against you because you are proclaiming your weakness. Hey, this is my weak spot. Come, please exploit me. You know, so they will use it against you. Anybody, not just men, but anybody. If you're extra emotional about stuff and someone really wants to make you mad, they know exactly what button to push because you told them. If you really want to make me upset, please push this button that makes me emotional. Or I'm emotional about anything. So whatever you say, I'm going to emotionally react to it. Not logically, but emotionally. So you're telling people your weakness by being emotional all the time. And that's why most people exploit it because it's fun for them or it's something that is too easy. It's something that is, you know, more beneficial to them. So who knows? Um, um, let's see. This is a lesson on turning the emotions off trolls. Yeah, I don't care about the stupid trolls. Let them keep clicking. I keep getting money. You know, unbothered, baby. Shira, I'm a student and I have a male teacher, very misogynistic. Nothing works on him, not being feminine and cute. How can I teach him a lesson for the, his horrible behavior? Not one does anything. No one does anything about it. Um, I mean, that's how he is. You can't change him. Maybe he's only allowed to be like that at school because his, he probably got a female boss. And if he is married, his his wife probably run the whole house. That's the only place he could be a man. Let him, you know, maybe that's why he does it. He can't say, he can't talk like that nowhere else. Think about it. Or he might be the leader of the MGTOW. Yeah, I don't know. He might want to be one of the people in the comments. <laughs> the best way to teach him a lesson is to look better than look like you're out of his league and he could never. And be like, I get what I want anyway, just by being a woman. So all I have to do is sit here and be me. It's not your it's not your job to teach him a lesson. You're you're giving him too much energy, baby. Okay. People that tend to want to teach people a lesson are more concerned about them than they are about their own life, you know? So it means that you're more concerned about him and you think about him more than you think about yourself and what you're going to be doing next. So how about you just focus back on you? Look cute every day. Do what you got to do. Let him vent because you know he can't vent wherever he lives. He might still live at home with his mama. You don't know. He might have a wife that earns more money than him and talks down to him. You don't know. You know, he might have little bitty tic-tac issues down there and overcompensating. So, you know, you got to give him, uh, <laughs> you got to give it thought of why he would act like that. It's obviously not attractive. So he's lashing out for some reason. And that's all I would think, that he's lashing out. Okay. Um, where is the bot police? I don't know, but I'm getting paid. I like being with me, don't need a man, but they are always available if I need them. That's true. <laughs> all you got to do is walk outside your house. And here, a one will pop right on it. Uh -huh. 
Thank you, uh, Ragaza. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you find the middle ground between setting boundaries and showing your weaknesses by telling them what bothers you? You don't tell them what bothers you, baby. You don't tell them what bothers you at all. You show them what bothers you. When they act up, when they mess up, you respond by taking something away, by being um, withdrawn, by not speaking to them, by walking away. In another word, you don't need to tell them nothing. You need to take action because talk is what? Cheap. If they say something you don't like, give them an ugly look. Like, now, this is if you're in a relationship. If you're trying to get the bag, you're acting all day, every day. You will like whatever they say as long as you get your back. Now, if this is a relationship of a person that you're going to be with for a long term, then you show them what you like and what you don't like. Otherwise, it's just like work. Your boss may see some stupid stuff, but you're going to smile and get your check. Right? So, treat it like that. Okay. What's the difference of showing vulnerability without being emotional? It's hard for me. Uh, you're acting. You're acting. You're you're giving them a chance to rescue you from a fake situation, which usually involves you getting some type of benefits, money or something. Okay, that's how you show your vulnerability by allowing them to see that you trust them to tell you to tell you trust them enough to tell your problems to them so that they can help you figure it out and solve it. Okay. That's a weakness. A lot of women can't even uh, tell a man a fake story to get money out of them because they're too proud. So that is a, vulnerab a vulnerability by even telling the person that you need something or you're in a bad situation. Um, so let's see. Alphas are exactly who it works on. It's beta males like you trolling in the chat. Oh, so y'all are talking about each other. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let your comment go through. Okay. Thank you. Remember to hit the like button, y'all. Thank you. Okay. So. Oh, hello. Yeah. How do you bond with James and keep relationships interesting? What do you mean bond? We've been together for 18 years, girl. We ain't, we had bonded enough, child. This is what most of you guys don't realize. And I hope that you understand. You don't always have to be sitting right next to your man. You don't always have to be talking to each other all the time. There is a silent bond. There is, you don't need to always be up in each other's face, you know. You don't, he's not a pet, baby, you know. So he's a grown man. I'm a grown woman. I have my own stuff that I'm doing. I have books that I read. You know, I spend time doing videos. I do this, this, and that. We bond when we speak about our children. We bond when we watch TV or movies together. We bond when we go when we go eat and stuff like that. You don't always need to do all of that. If you got to do all of that, y'all ain't supposed to be together. You know, if you got to put all that effort and work into something, it's not you didn't choose the right person. You got to constantly work on, you know, um, making sure this is isn't it. why are, why and let me ask you a question. Why do you have to do that work? Why is not why he's not doing it? You know, why he's not around asking me, how do I bond with my woman better? And how do I keep the relationship interesting? You know why he's not? Because you care too much and he doesn't care enough. So the first the first tip I can give you is to stop trying to figure out how to bond and how to uh, make the relationship interesting, because that's not your job. Your job is to do exactly what you've been doing. And if he wants a more interesting relationship, then 
if you chose the right person, he will put in that extra work. When you start sighing all the time, and say, it's so boring. He's supposed to step up and do something about that, you know, or um, you're supposed to suggest something. And if he doesn't quickly back it up and say, great idea, let's do it, you know, then perhaps he doesn't really care enough to even bother putting in that effort, which means you are giving more effort than he is, which means the, the relationship is off balance. So you need to get the balance back. And making him want to impress and please you once again. Okay. So it's not your place. To, it's not your question to ask. It should have been his. So he's supposed to like you more. Okay. Your relationship is interesting enough for him already. Because he's not trying to do anything to make it more interesting. You see. Um. So you gotta re you gotta realize that it's it's more to it than most people think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any advice for a tall women? Feel more confident wearing heels. Just wear them out, girl. I, like, just be you. That's the best you can do. Like, you can't hide your height. That's one thing you cannot hide. So. I would wear them heels if I wanted them. I'm, I mean, I'm tall and I wear heels. I do feel tall sometimes, but I don't ever regret wearing the heels. Mm -hmm. Um, the taller you are, the most likely the taller the man you'll meet, or somebody will like a tall woman, right? So. Don't be around all the time, man. Get bored. That's true. Go do something. Let him miss you. And don't text him all the time that you're gone either. <laughs> right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, did I get a donation? Thank you, whoever sent that. Let me see. Thank you for your dedication and consistency. You are... A gym, classy, sophisticated, and unbothered forever. The prize. Lizzie says, Oh, thank you, vibing chocolate. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Appreciate that. 11 11. Hey. <laughs> um, heels do look confident. Thank you. Um, Coco Mocha says, Heels look confident. Period. Right. Just tell people you model. That's right. Yeah, I know. I know they're trying to ruin the chat. It's okay. Let them. Let them do it. I get paid. Oh yeah. The more bots in here, the more I get paid. Okay, so I had a man that was very hold on, insecure. Always wanted to know my every. That's because he was cheating. Duh. That's why any man that always wants to know your every move is cheating. He making sure you ain't going where he going. Okay. Right. Most likely he was cheating too, Chad. And you blocked them. Good for you. Block you blocked the trolls. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Tap on my photo. No, thank you. We're not gonna tap on your photo. We're women, okay? We don't need to tap on your photo. We're not going to block you either because we know that's a trick that hackers use. So you can leave and go try somebody else that's stupid. Okay. Stay focused. Get another. That's right. So. Never thought of it. Making sure. He ain't going right. He want to make sure you're not where he's going to be. The street he's going to be driving on. The store he's going to, wherever he makes sure you ain't there, and that's why he always trying to see where you at, because he he creeping too. <laughs> that's why it don't matter. You should be creeping at the same time. You know that's the best time to cheat when he always got to know where you are. That means he cheating too. He ain't trying to run into you, so you're gonna be good. <laughs> 
All right. Mm hmm. Yeah, I need a moderator. I'm sorry. Y'all know that those hacker bots do that. They want. See, let me tell y'all, because y'all don't understand. I have to explain it to y'all. These things are hackers. OK, a lot of them are hacker bots. And if you click on block on your channel, they will get access to your stuff. That's why I don't click on them. You see, I can go in and delete them later on and go block them from my channel later on after the live is done. But if you click on them now, you'll get hacked. So that's why it's not a good thing. Okay. So they, they try to drive you crazy so you can click on them. That's their trick. Y'all know I don't fall for the okie doke. So they can make their hand as tight as they choose by continually to pay me by clicking on those buttons. I really don't care. Okay. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna find my channel missing or under the control of some bot or some, some uh hater. Y'all ain't gonna do that. Okay. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. 10. Okay. So <laughs> not falling for the okie dokie anymore. And if this was a smart bot, which it's not, it probably doesn't even speak English, they would probably be on a channel with more men, you see. So they're not even a smart bot. Okay, hit the like button. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's why you can tell it's either a troll or a hacker because they're not even targeting the correct audience. And so these are the telltale clues that it is a hacker. So you do not delete them you let them stay and get tired and then they'll a eventually move on or b they'll just not be successful okay so this is a good lesson like someone said earlier on how to control emotions i don't care they're paying me i'm benefiting they're stupid i won i'm gonna win because i know not to click on them um and the funny thing is the best part about it is that I still get paid even more. So thank you. <laughs> Your trolls really have love hate relationship. They sure do. But you got to love me before you hate me though. That's number one. This amount of dedication takes love first, baby. You got to really have to just love me to death, which means you know, <laughs> your coins from every comment is going to be fire. I know, right? One minute they love me, the next day they hate me. Right. Teaching y'all a lesson, LOL. Y'all too emotional, right? We don't care. Thank you, Tasha D. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Are married men off limits? They're easier to milk. Nope. Ain't nothing off limits in this world. Okay. If you want it, go get it, baby. Thank you for your advice. I watched an old video and you of me and James, and I really enjoyed hearing both perspectives. You got a winner. Thank you, sweet divine tarot. I appreciate that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> what do you think about Trump? Um, I think he's a double agent and very smart in how he operates and does things while making you think that he's not for certain people, but he is really doing a lot for those certain people. So I think I think he's a good actor. I think he's a good I think he's a good strategist. I don't vote, so I don't really have a horse in that race, but I see what he's doing. Okay. I don't really care. I see what he's doing. He's a distraction. Um, but I'm not very political, so I'm not the right person to ask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So tap on my photo. 
you need a moderator. Would you like to be my moderator, hacker? Would the hacker like to be my moderator? Uh, or are they just turning everybody's comment into the same comment? That's interesting. Y'all better not ever let me learn no hacking skills. Because I will be trolling too. This seems fun. Um, James is a Sagittarius. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even with the bots, we love you. Thank you, girl. I love y'all too. Uh -huh. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle them bots. Sprinkle them with some water. I'm trying to level up. Ben with a what high school sweetheart for tw for 15 years married now how do you re retrain a husband girl you can't retrain a husband you just got to stop doing everything you're doing that's how you retrain a man you you retrain yourself first you can't retrain somebody until you retrain yourself why should he change if you haven't so retrain yourself first level up look cute stop doing everything you're doing if you want him to change and he asks, what can I do or why are you doing this? And that, then you tell, then you let him know, well, I'm bored and I need you to be doing this because this ain't working no more. Um, that's how they change. When you start changing, they start changing. So you need to change yourself first and foremost. You can't just focus on him and you look the same and act the same and do the same stuff. No, you got to change first and then let him notice your change. And he may start changing on his own. So you got to just be the, the, the leader of that change. Like me, I, I just got my nails done. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. These nails are going to get messed up. You know how much these nails cost? Y'all going to mess up this whole set of nails. I can't do any of that. I'm allergic to that. Um, cleaning solution. It, it breaks me out in hive. Do you want me to have to go to the doctor and get some type of, and go to the emergency room and get some type of shock? No, I can't do that. It makes me sneeze. It gives me a headache. I can't see. My eyes are watering, okay? I don't have to clean all of them. Get you a maid, okay? That's all you gotta do. You know, trying to raise your frequency and everybody's trying to bring me down. Help. Um, ignore them, you know? You said everyone's trying to bring you down, so then you don't allow them to bring you down. You just say, oh, well, you tried, but you didn't succeed, just like these bots. These bots are trying to bring people down, but they're not succeeding. I'm still up. I'm still live. I'm still making money. I'm still answering questions. That's all you got to do is pretend like they don't exist, okay? Avoid them. Don't listen to them. You know, buy, get something else to do. Focus on something else that is beneficial. And that's how you do that. Okay. That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. How do you get more support from children's father when separated without turning ugly? Um, Child support office, baby. Get to that child support office. That's how. Straight up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. That child support office. I don't know if y'all have the same laws, but over here, that's what y'all do. Get the child support office online. Hello. <laughs> right. Sheer, what do you do if your husband keeps bringing up your whole friend and when we used to hang out and he called me a hoe today? I say, well, today hoes are women. If I'm such a hoe, why you married me? I guess hoes get married too, right? I guess you married a hoe, right? Or I turn, flip the script. <laughs> you knew you can't turn no hoe into no housewife. This whole, but this whole is a wife, and you're gonna have to get a whole divorce if you want something different. Own it, girl. When they start calling you hoes, own it. Then they can never use it again. Okay? Own it. 
I can't lose. Love you, Shira. What do I do when everyone keeps asking me about my personal business and why do they do that? Make it up and make it sound good, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what you can do. Have a good old answer. Well, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a stay-at-home wife. I don't do anything. Oh, um, so where'd you go to school? I went to, um, name some university girl. Oh, so, um, how much money do you make? My husband just gives me his credit card. I don't know. You know, tell them what you want to tell them. How about that? Who cares what they're asking? What do you want them to know is the question. Um, own it. Whatever they call you, just own it. Flip it back and throw it at them. Yes, I am a hoe. This is the hoe you married. The hoe that had your kids. <laughs> the hoe that will divorce you if you don't if you don't watch out. The hoe that's going to take half your money too. That's what you're going to tell him. Then he's going to shit it up. Okay. Diana. That's what you tell him, Diana. Be the hoe that you was always meant to be. <laughs> All right. How do I feel about city girls? Not role models. <laughs> Not level up role models, but you know, they they could be fun to, you know, to listen to or whatever, but not level of role models. Okay, so how to keep cool if a man's wife confronts you? Ask her why she's not confronting her husband. It's like, excuse me, ma'am, but your husband is the one that broke your vows. Don't you think you need to speak to him? Maybe that's your problem. You don't hold him accountable for anything. If he were my husband, I would be speaking with him, not every woman that he's going to cheat on you with now from the past or in the future. That's what I tell him. Straight up, say, if it's not me, it's going to be someone else tomorrow because you're not confronting the correct person. He's over there or he's probably wherever he is. You need to go talk to him. He's probably talking to another girl. That's what I tell her. He may be with someone else. Do you really think I'm the only one? Girl, mess what I hear. She's going to confront him for sure. Um, I don't know. Would you like to meet for coffee? She's going to be mad because she, she probably ugly. And she, want, she don't want to see that you look better than her. So she's going to decline. And then you're going to be like, okay, well, if you ever need to talk. Chestnuts roasting. Uh -oh, Hello. <gasps> Sasha. What time is your lunch over? It's past one. It's 120. Wait, is that the right time? It's 125. All right, I'll bring it. Bye. Yeah, I might. All right, bye. Bye. That was Sasha. She won't, she forgot her lunch and she wanted me to come pick her up early. All right. Well, I guess I got to go to my baby. I will see y'all later. <laughs> bye. Don't forget. Um, the, most of the tips are in the first part of the video, like the first 15 to 20 minutes. So sprinkle, sprinkle.